Hey Ronnie here and today we're going to take a look at some modern dating clips and then see what feedback we can give, a, give off to. So let's take a look and see how modern dating is looking like. I want you and only you. Oh my god, so we're exclusive? Uh, did I, did I say we're exclusive you stupid bitch? No. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god, get away from me. You said I love you. Someone took that to heart. I the first clip, I would say that that she must have had a bad experience with a guy, and or that someone's told her the ill word and they didn't mean it, and because they didn't mean it, she's heart she's heartbroken. Unfortunately, every bad relationship is going to end up that way. The best thing you can do is to try again, and after you try again, hopefully the next person that says that tells you the ill word will actually mean it gotta keep trying and then sooner and then you'll find that person that will be exclusive to you what's your age 19 29 I like them young how does a 10-year age gap relationship that's, that's work a perfect age gap for a relationship why well see when they're 19 you can train them. <laughs> you can train them you know they're very young, so, you know, you can influence them and train them to be the, the, the perfect woman for you. Do you feel like that's true? Yes. Do you feel like your boyfriend is misogynistic? No. Why not? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm fine with our relationship. I, it has worked for us. Um, like, guys my age are not, like, mature enough. And would guys your age be able to provide the same things that he provides for you right now? Of course not. Of course not. Why go 19 as opposed to 29 or 35? She's a young sweetheart, you know what can I say? Okay, so, so what's the latest you want to have kids? Five years um, to now, like, yes. Yeah, you know, bi biology gives women up, up to about the age of 27. So <laughs> I say we got, a, we got about eight years in it, you know, so. so. When it comes to age gaps, a lot of people will also argue that age is just a number. But a 10 year difference, that's a full decade. On one end, some people may prefer them older, like a woman will prefer a man that's older than them, and a man will prefer a younger woman, especially to have kids. How, um, however, in the long term, you may end up leaving the family behind a lot sooner, so the man will have to have a huge significant amount of resources to provide the, the wife and the kids for, for, for when his passing comes because he is 10 years ahead of them in passing. So when that happens, it will be difficult for the family to survive when, he, when he's gone because by the time she hits 40, he's gonna be 50. And around that age, that's when men's um, conditions start to fail even further. They're really too old. And you need the energy to keep up with the kids too. But age does matter. A 10 year gap, then you're basically growing up in two different generations. So communication and connection plays a big role. But kudos to them. If he cheated on you, would you give him another shot? Well, we have an open relationship, so... I'm allowed to cheat. No, it's, it's not like that. So wait, what do you mean open? <laughs> Actually, basically like, we fuck bitches together type shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Open relationship, allowed to cheat. Else that would automatically be a red flag. That's, that's a red flag right there. Because you're not gonna have that commitment and that attention span to keep it to to your to that person because you're going to be splitting that attention span to someone else and then and then because you're trying out other other people in the open relationship you're you're more prone to jealousy insecurity and comparisons to the original person that you're with and it doesn't matter to who's doing the cheating whether it's the guy or the girl it's, i'm sorry but that sort of thing never uh, never lasts. Think of it long term. Think of think of your, your integrity, your self-respect. 
it's all it all comes down to line and you will be compared to the other person to the other people that 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 you bring into your into your relationship so he can sleep with all the women with you yeah with me can you sleep with another man mm, no why can't she get it's, it's different bro like we could get into the details like but it's a lot different bro like a guys bro like i could go fuck a girl and then forget who she is the next day for a girl it's like emotional type shit like it's not like girls can just go fuck a guy he's gonna like she's gonna like leave a mark on her like you know like I could go fuck some bitch and never see her again and not care. You know, it's, it's a lot different. Like, to be honest. So, when you see him inside another woman, that doesn't like... Well, it hasn't happened yet. So... Well, I'm, but... allowed. I'm allowed to. Uh... Yeah, but I have to be there. How long you been together? Um, two months. Yeah. I would not give it... I would not give it any more time. Because... Even though the guy says that he can sleep with a different girl and not feel and not care or feel anything, at the end of the day, trust me, they both care. Guys do care who they sleep with. They really do. Guys have emo guys have feelings too. Guys do care who they sleep with. Guys care who they're who they're with, and they will actually feel a difference. They feel it too. Uh, they don't have to. The girls don't have to sleep with the with a guy in order to in order to get that emotional connection. Obviously, she has some feelings for the guy, and she's clinging onto him, hoping that he will change. But it may be become maybe make himself exclusive to her, but it may not happen. So. When you want to be exclusive, just talk about it with each other. Tell each other you want to be exclusive and don't include anybody else in your relationship. Just make it between you two. And if you and if you don't, and if one doesn't like the other one, then talk about it and then break it off before you, before you run off with somebody else. Otherwise, you're just hurting the other person, bringing them into the relationship. Even if it's with permission, even if it's with permission, it doesn't take away the the possibility of pain or the hurt. It doesn't take. It doesn't go away. Go on dates together. Okay. Who pays for them? Yeah. When do you pay for the dates? I always offer. Yeah. Always. That's Usually. always something that I do. Um, I but take he's, sometimes. he's no, no. Like if we're just like picking something up or whatever, I'm like I'll run out and get it, like for sure. But like when we're sitting down and stuff like that, Usually like day he always me, wants yeah. to, right? Yeah. yeah. And what's yeah. the most you've spent on a date on your girlfriend? I would say come to like 500 bucks. Yeah, I mean, on a on a on a nice day. We went yeah. to Harbor 16. It was like a lot. It was in Toronto. So if he's covering everything monetary in a relationship, what do you bring as his girlfriend? A lot. Trust me, I take care of him. Trust me. In what ways? A lot of different ways. I always like. I don't know. I I, I don't want to get cooks. too into it, but like no, I'm very. I I take care. I, I, like, she cooks. Yeah. She takes care of me. She cleans my always, clothes. Always, always. Housework you know? material. Okay, so you get it whenever you want? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I can agree. <laughs> it is right there because it covers all the, uh, all the bills. But she wasn't too keen on on how what she provides for him. He says it's he says it's wife material, but only she only she would know know that for sure. And maybe if it is wife material, maybe it's not a hundred percent wife material however when it comes to the paying for dates thing there's no such thing as 50 50 there, there, there really isn't when you make the relationship 50 50 paying for splitting the bill paying for paying for half and half everywhere you go it becomes more transactional at that point it becomes less of a gift and a date with uh, with someone that you care about and it becomes more like a hang out with friends 50 50 is something you do with friends and colleagues or your co-workers it's not someone you do with a with a with your significant other now now does that mean the guys to pay for every single thing no the girl can pay for something for him if she chooses to the same way that he gives and chooses to pay for her she can choose and give and pay for him like the same way how how girls have a favorite um 
coffee shop or lunch spot, guys have the same thing too. Once in a while, guy, uh, if the girl surprised the guy by bringing him his favorite burger from his bur from a burger joint, or his favorite beer that she paid for that after he came back from work, guys will reciprocate that and they will melt for you. They will, they will be on their every whim for you if the girl just simply brought brought him bought him something too. Or pay for the or pay for the dates um, that he uh, that you both went out to. I mean, she if she pays for the if she chooses to pay for what for one date, the whole day, the food and the activity with the guy, and the guy's the one that's gonna put out. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow me on social media. If you want some one-on-one -on -one life coaching, send me a DM and I will get back to you. And remember, stay healthy and Ronnie will talk to you later.